Okay, this is my disclaimers. I am doing these videos for passing time only. Nothing more, nothing less. I am not here for momentary gains, seeking donations, or trying to win a Nobel Prize or even an Oscar. Although you can give me a Nobel Prize and a, or an Oscar for doing nothing, I'll gladly to take it. But if it's a Nobel Prize, I will burn it. If it's an Oscar, I will melt it and post them all on YouTube for you to see. Just to let you know who is behind the cameras. Okay, this is a uh, thermostat bypass video and this is what the test results are before and after. Um, this is what the thermostat look like uh, before that is being cut. Uh, they are pretty much pretty similar to most cars. That's what it looks like right there. And this is before. And then this is after cutting. Um, after cutting, you're going to see that little plastic right there. Um, all you actually need is the picture on the left. In the picture, it's on the left. That's just round piece because it has a gasket around there, that black gasket. Um, you can't really get it anywhere. So you would have to um, actually uh, would need that part right there for the... Um, for it to fit into your that slot easily where you take out um, right there that's the exhaust part that's the water comes out from the engine um, that's where the location of your thermostat um, this is where the two screw has been open and that's what it looks like um, I believe the last time was open probably like about six months ago eight months ago so it's kind of dirty right there that you can see um, but uh, all rusted and stuff, and that's what it looks like. And this is the we put in the new uh cut, and you can see the hole right through it, right there. Um, that's what it looks like right after. And this is a close up, make sure it's seated up correctly in the surrounding. You can clean it off if you want. Um, but that's what I would suggest you to do if that actually happens. And that's the final results right there. And it's been the screw has already been put back. Um, and that's it on that. And here comes the next video. Okay, this is the engine uh, measuring temperature. Right now, right there. 210 this has been sitting for 10 minutes already after an hour ride the AC okay, let me see. right there 142 the alternator is 176 the, the line is 180 that's the key to core. Uh, what else? I guess measuring that heat of core. That heat of core is like 150. The other heat of core is 160, close to 160. The engine block down there. It's part of the alternator, 186, near the oil, is still 200. And down here, in the engine bay, still 200. What's this hose? This hose is 218. 217 to 18. Why is it so hot? That's just a positive line. So you can see right 
there. What's this thing? It's 145, so. In the block itself. What's about the thermostat? It's hard to see. 190 something. So, on average, it is about 200 degree, which is normal, but it's really hot on these. Anyway, I'll update with the next video. Let's go all the way in there. What the? This is uh, 200 down here. That's 220, 230. What? It's only 127 down there, but I don't know why it's up here is pretty hot. It's still 140 there though. So let me measure right there. 186 there. 180 there. Two oh seven there. So right at that spot. Right there. Can't be at three hundred. What? Can't be at two ninety six. What about here? Yeah. It's like a hundred something there. It's only 160 here. So only at that plate. No, let me try it over here. 142 there. 146 there. Okay, that's pretty normal at the water pump. At the water pump is 150, 160, near the AC compressor, 154, 132, the water pump, 146. Let me go over to this engine here, down here, near the oil, it says only 170, down here, that's the exhaust. The exhaust. What about this here? The water is only 100 something, 160. Still stabilized at 160. All around here is 170. 160, 170. 
That's the average. Inside here. Inside the engine right there is only where that dot is, only 135. At the manifold, 141, 140. What about back here? 160 still. So average is 160. What about in there? 160 still. The exhaust is like 300 something. So the exhaust is high. So that's the exhaust then, that's what I'm measuring. Yeah. I think that's normal. Right there is 200 something com coming out. But the engine part is only 170 something. It's like 160 right there, 150. And what about. Trying to see the crankshaft, the engine part. Yeah, the, near the crankshaft is only 160. What about the crankshaft? Crankshaft is 160. The idler is 160. Near the AC compressor, measuring the bolt. So all the bolts is 160 and this is where the thermostat would lay right there that's my focal point that's where I would know right there it's 170 176 same thing there with that bolt but that's where that bolt right there that's my focal point average is 180 so that's about right Even in there is 180. The only thing that is hot is the exhaust. I think that's normal. That's 300 something degree right there. Shielding. So yeah, the exhaust is pretty hot. Let me go around the exhaust and see. Underneath. Underneath where the oil is, it's 170, 180. The exhaust coming out is 200 something. Same thing here, it's 300 something. That's the exhaust. So that's pretty normal. All those are cold. The oil pan underneath the oil pan. The transmission coolant, about 180, 190. All right, so that's, I think I got enough for today. That's the data for that. The exhaust here, back here is only like 160, 190 right there before it exit. So everything is pretty cool. The transmission is running around 156. Underneath the transmission, yeah, it's 160. The transmission oil pan, 160. So I guess that's it, and enough data. I got. I guess I get enough data, but it's 
stay stabilized at 170. But anyway, I guess that's about it on this video.